kittens, this is Kathy Cat today for another fashion feature of a very simple and easy to wear Japanese fashion style. Uh, let's start at the head. I'm keeping it very simple today, as you can see, just two bows. These ones were handmade by Lolitas that I met in the United Kingdom, and I'm still treasuring them even years later. This one comes actually with a hood, so you can see you can wear this up or down. It has like little ears, and these ones are actually mouse ears because of the one piece that I'm wearing. So that's my main focus today is this one piece. It is done by a brand called Putumeo. You might know Putumeo because they also do the later fashion. They do collabs with animes and stuff as well. And they also do awesome other kind of punky kind of clothes. So I really like actually what they're doing. And I got this piece out of Closet Child second hand for like 2,000 yen. So it was super, super cheap as well. So let's check out why this one is so cool. It gives me, first of all, a very nice female shape. As you can see in this one, usually you don't, don't get that. And because the pockets here are quite big, it kind of gives you a little bit of an hourglass figure to it. So that's a, a really, really nice way of wearing this one. Also, if you look at the sleeves, if you come a little bit closer, you can see that there are buttons here. And you can open this and take the sleeves completely off if you don't like them. The sleeves are made super size on purpose, so they're really long, so you can wear them like this if you wanted to, which is kind of cute. Uh, but you don't have to. Again, you can completely take them off if you wanted to. Now, why why this bus, why this hat has mouse ears is because of the character. You can see the little mouse here that is dancing on your dress, and also on the back of it. Don't be shocked. There are some funky colors going on here again with the characters and put the Mario on it. Also, where is it? Where is it? I'm touching myself. There, there is a little tail. You have a little. Our tear here, which I find really cute. You can again take that one off because it's on the bottom. If you don't like it, you can completely take it off. The other thing is because this is a top, you completely un can completely unzip it. You can unzip it from the bottom as well if you wanted to. Uh, I'm wearing shorts under this, as you can see here, just to give me the extra security because otherwise it's a very, very short skirt. If you're comfortable with that, you're fine with it. I feel a bit more comfortable wearing shorts under this. Um, I'm just wearing a normal and then here are some very, very simple accessories today. I didn't want to be too flashy, just wanted to have something that's comfy to take on the train with me. And coming down, usually I would like to wear this with stripy socks, but it's too hot in Japan right now. We're having like 35 degrees today. So I'm just wearing short socks and those shoes, which I got at La Grace Market in Harajuku. And I think they were about 3,000 yen, so that's pretty good. These ones are plateaus so I haven't worn plateaus in a quite a long time but they actually are very very comfortable very nice to wear and to be honest very light sometimes plateau shoes tend to be really really heavy and then your knees hurt and after a while they get uncomfortable these ones were just right like I said staying really comfy today so that was the Putumayo style that I'm wearing today I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions let me know Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. You get a special kiss for that. And if you're curious about other Japanese fashion styles, because I wear quite a lot during the week, they are at the top of the top right of the screen. So be sure to check them out if you're curious about more Japanese fashion styles. Thank you very much for watching. I love you lots and I'll catch you soon on my channel. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. There's more stuff! There's more stuff!